I'm Buff Grow with Mad River Canoe, and I'm here with the uh, the new Journey. This is the 156. We also make a 167. Uh, the two Journeys were designed by Jim Henry, who is the founder of Mad River Canoe, and has designed a lot of our, our classic boats like the Explorer and the Malasite. The Journeys were designed to be a versatile canoe. Um, they have a very st high stability factor, yet also paddle quite well, and the two sizes are designed to accommodate a crossover at the short end at the 156. You got a boat that you can paddle solo or tandem. Still have plenty of room for family, and then you go up to the 167, which is a little bit faster boat, a little larger boat. Maybe somebody wants to go weekend camping. The journey in two sizes, a 156, such as we see here, and a 167. 156 is probably going to be favored by people looking look for a little bit smaller boat, um, maybe a smaller family, maybe tighter waterways, like you know sloughs and marshes and twisty uh, small streams, that kind of stuff. It's a little bit more nimble, a little more maneuverable than the 167. If your uh, kind of canoeing that you're envisioning is, is going to be open water, uh, flat water, the 167 is going to be faster, it's going to tend to track a little stronger, stay on course a little better, and has more gear carrying capacity. We've outfitted the Journeys with uh, rotomotor polyethylene deck plates, they're very durable, you don't have to worry about banging the ends of them or anything like that. They have a molded in carry handle right here, making it easy to carry the boats. The boats have a vinyl gunnel with an aluminum insert, which provides the stiffness you need, but it also provides just a lot of impact, you don't have to worry about banging them or anything like that. Uh, we use wood frame, they're ash frame seats with nylon webbing. They're very light, they do not pull water, they dry very quickly, and uh, the, the webbing does conform to, you, conform to your body a little bit. It has a shaped uni uh, contoured yoke to allow you to carry it. It's designed to cut away around the neck so that you put the weight of the boat on your shoulders instead of on your neck muscles. And all the hardware that's used here, you can see the yoke has four pins, and the seat hardware is stainless steel for resistance to corrosion and just strength. Journeys, both the 156 and the 167, are designed with a shallow arch hull uh, with minimal rocker and with straight sides. Uh, they're a little bit on the wide side for added stability, so it gives you good stability both initially when you get in the boat and you're by the lake shore, or when you're out on the water and the waves are kicking up a little bit like that, the boat is very stable. Um, and with Jim's you know, magic of design and all, the boat still paddles quite well. It's a fairly fast boat, and it also will turn easy due to the bottom shape of the hull. Manufactured of uh, what we call triple tough polyethylene. It is the same kind of polyethylene to use in making light water kayaks, but what makes it unique for a canoe is that it has an outer skin, a center foam core, and an internal skin. But the foam core is there to give the hull stiffness so that when you put it in the water, it will not invert or what they call oil can. It provides the stiffness, it also provides the flotation. If you notice, there's no flotation chambers in the end of this boat. That is because the foam in the core, the material of the hull, provides the flotation you need necessary to keep the boat afloat.